Chief of Wagner warned Ukraine deployed more than 80,000 servicemen around Bakhmut. The Ukrainian armed forces have gathered over 80,000 servicemen around Bakhmut. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the founder of the Wagner private military company, said in a video published on his press services Telegram channel, the enemy has deployed more than 80,000 servicemen around Bakhmut. This grouping is in Seversk, Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, Druzkovka, Konstantinovka and Chazovoy Yar, Prigozhin said. The Ukrainians received a very large amount of various NATO equipment, various armored vehicles, leopard tanks, which everyone is talking about, and prepared reserves of about 200,000 people, he added. According to Prigozhin, with the help of the accumulated forces in addition to military action in Artyomovsk, the Ukrainian armed forces may try to strike the first blow in the direction of Belgorod, he theorized. The founder of the Wagner private military company indicated that Svatovo, Kremenaya, contact line, where in his opinion they may try to reach Valuiki. Bloomberg reported that because Russia's mission in Bakhmut has remained incomplete after many months, compounded by the conflicts with military personnel, Prigozhin might be refocusing his group efforts in Africa. Mercenaries have reportedly attempted to gain an upper hand in recent weeks over commodities like gold and diamonds in the Central African Republic, leading to heavy casualties. Before this, Prigozhin wrote a letter to US Secretary of State Antony Blinken offering to finance a joint security project in Africa called Wagner, Safe Africa. Prigozhin reportedly rebuked Blinken's past accusations that Wagner sows violence and instability in Africa, adding that the US and other countries are actively trying to divide the African pie while the Wagner group remains busy in Ukraine. Therefore, I suggest that you support the efforts of PMC Wagner in ensuring security in Africa and finance a new Wagner project named Wagner Safe Africa, where you can become one of the investors of the project and thereby save the resources of US taxpayers, Prigozhin wrote to Blinken.